Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing Emma Chamberlain's new coffee line, Chamberlain Coffee. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute. Um, the packaging is recyclable, compostable, which is really awesome. And it comes in this like tea bag type thing, which I think is really cool and different. I've never seen this before. Um, and it smelled really good, as you can see I'm smelling it. So I'm going to be filling up a mason jar. I was gonna make the recipe like Emma's and use three bags with like 600 milliliters of water, but I didn't wanna use three bags for the taste test. So I'm just gonna be using one bag with one cup of water. And here I am putting the coffee inside. And that's what it looks like. And please enjoy this clip of me struggling with the saran wrap. Come on, Aubrey, get it together. And so I'm going to cover the mason jar with the saran wrap. Um, Emma covered the coffee in her video, so I thought I would try and make it as similar as possible. And here I am putting my name on it, because if you didn't know, I live in a sorority house. So in our fridge, we can all put our stuff in there, but you want to label it, obviously, so you know which one's yours, or people don't take your stuff. So this is what it looks like in the morning. Um, as you can see, it looks like coffee, which is really cool. Um, it seeped overnight. We got the whole <laughs> squad. <laughs> this is Kenzo. This is Addie. I don't like coffee. <laughs> I do. We're gonna go get Starbucks cold brew so we can compare the two coffees. I will check <laughs> back when we're at Starbucks. <laughs> Is it happy hour? Okay. <laughs> okay, a grande cold brew with no ice. Grande cold brew, no ice. Awesome. Anything else? Um, a. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, a cold brew with um sugar-free vanilla. And cold then. Brew with sugar-free vanilla, what size? A grande. And then um almond milk cold foam with stevia. Almond milk cold foam with stevia. Yes, please. Cold foam made with almond milk. And speaking of the cold brew or in the foam? In the cold brew. Oh, no. No, it's not in the foam. Okay, so. Addie drops the cold brew. So now we have to go back and get another one. We're doing great! <laughs> uh huh. Hi, can I get a grande uh, cold brew with no <laughs> ice, please? Okay, so we're gonna try the two cold brews plain. So we have Starbucks and we have Emma's. Um, her roommate, Kelsey, is gonna blindly bring them to us. So <laughs> we don't know which one's which and we're gonna see which one we like better plain. So let's just try them. Okay. What, am I trying this one? Yes, and then we'll switch. I think I like this one better. Yeah, this one's better. Yeah, this one's definitely more better. Okay, so we didn't want to buy Cliffia Farms because that's expensive. So <laughs> we're using this um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, which is the same as what Emma used, um, and the Nut Pods creamer. But this is the French vanilla one. I think she uses original, but that's okay. Yeah, this one. One, two, three. 
This is Emma. This is Starbucks. <laughs> Wait, is that the one we like? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it really? Hold on, we're switched. No, I like this one better. You like the Starbucks one? Yeah. No, the Emma. This is Emma. Oh, wait, this is Emma. <laughs> Starbucks. I don't know. Maybe it's the amount of creamer. I know. I actually genuinely do like this one better. Final verdict. Um, we like Emma's better plain, but we both like Starbucks better with the milk and the creamer. I think if I made Emma's with like the creamer and the milk that I like. And whatever you do, you send up pods usually? Yeah, I don't put that much milk in it though. Yeah, that was a lot of milk. So, Emma's was still good, but <laughs> in this taste test, we like Starbucks better. Final verdict go to Starbucks, but also buy Emma's because it's so good. Okay, so I ended up going home the weekend after that last clip was filmed and I decided to make the coffee again and try it with the milk and creamer that I like. So here I am making it. Um, here's my cat who's bothering me while I make it. Um, so here I am putting the bag in again. I put it in a cup of water, same as last time. And I covered it up with the saran wrap again. And I put it in the fridge overnight, so it was in there for about a day. I'm so tired. Uh, my cat is clawing under my door. Okay, so as you saw in the last clip, I was making another bag, Emma's coffee. So, I've taken that out. It is steeped for a full day, and it looks like this. So, I'm going to take the bag out, and I'm going to try it. Okay, so I've got my cup of ice and my coffee, and I have... Calithia Farms unsweetened almond milk. I couldn't find the vanilla one, but that's fine. So I have this one. And then I'm also going to be using the Calithia Farms almond milk creamer in vanilla. So we're gonna try this again, but I'm gonna try the coffee again plain first, so. Yeah, it's still good plain. Still love it. It's got really good flavor. I read on the website that the coffee has hints of cherry, chocolate, and nuts. I feel like I can definitely taste the chocolate. And I really like nutty coffee, so that's why I really like hers. I think I didn't like it with the creamer because I didn't like that creamer that she used in hers, the nut pods. I'm not a huge fan of it. So we're gonna see if we like it better this way. I could just drink this plain, but for the sake of video, I'm gonna try it like this. And now we've got this looking so pretty. Pretty, pretty coffee. I think I might add a little bit more coffee too. I might add a little bit too much milk. It's really thick. Okay, so now we're gonna stir this bad boy up. I think I put a little bit too much milk in it. Still really good. All of my vanilla cream is just like sitting at the bottom, you can see it. Okay, so coming from those last clips you saw where we liked Starbucks cold brew better, now I like Emma's coffee a lot with creamer and milk, and I think it's because I'm using the creamer and milk that I like instead of trying to use the ones that she likes. 
So final verdict, how many times have we said that in this video? Emma's coffee is really good, so good job Emma. Very proud of what you've done. No one's ever created coffee like this, so. so. I recommend Emma's coffee. If you've been wanting to try it, I do recommend it. I think I would probably drink it straight up as cold brew instead of with milk and creamer. I like it plain though. It's a really good coffee brew. It's got good flavor in it and it's not too strong. It's a good medium roast. Um, the longer you let it sit, the stronger it is. So. Mine sat for pretty much 24 hours, um, maybe a little bit longer, so yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Um, comment down below if you've tried Emma's coffee. If this is your first time here, feel free to subscribe. Um, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!